Hey everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today. You guys should see my desk. It is a disaster. Everything this way is a disaster. Everything this way is a disaster. And I just shoved everything away so I could do this video. I'm deep in making projects for on stage. And by the time you see this, I'll be either very close to going or I will have already gone. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the things I've been putting together. I'm not good at gift giving. You guys, can you... Like, let's just take a moment to discuss gift giving. I love to give gifts. Like, don't get me wrong. I love giving them, but I suck at giving gifts. I never, like, remember the time. Like, I'm always like, oh, crap, I got to get a gift for so-and-so for their birthday or whatever it is. So I'm always, like, the last-minute Lucy. And then I never, ever know what to get. Like, I'm, I just suck at picking out gifts. I wish I was better at it. You know, some people have like a knack for it and they give amazing gifts. I'm not one of them. So here I am, we're going to on stage and I wanna do some pillow gifts or some gifts for um, the ladies that I'm staying with. There's four of us staying together in a room and I wanna have a little something to give them. So I am putting some things together. The first thing is, is that I have a bunch of these journals and you can see that I've inked them. I had ink all over my hands from this, but all I did was take my blue ink pad and I just opened it and then I just ran it along the edges to get some ink on there. And then I'm taking some of this celebration paper and it's cut at three and a half, or no, I'm sorry, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, if you have this exact notebook, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these anymore. Um, I got a bunch of them to keep on hand to do things with. I like to put these in my purse uh, to take notes on, or I have a couple around my office. And so um, you'd have to measure your whatever you're covering, but what I did is just I have a little bit of that ink on the edges so that instead of it being craft, it's blue. And it's not perfect, uh, but then I put some designer paper on there, and then I have a piece of the other designer paper. Uh, well, it's the same, it's just flipped over. And we're going to add this right here. And then what I did is I took my stitched circle framelits. You guys, I use these all the time. Like every single project, I'm using these stitched shapes. And then I have a white. I have one more project for you guys. I'm going to share with you both projects. Uh, I have this stamp set. It says, I am so very blessed. It comes from the reversed confetti stamp set I got a couple weeks ago that I've used a couple times. I'm going to layer this together layer that together like this so it'll be a little notebook so then what I'm going to do I have these envelopes I get a subscription kit every single month and it comes in these envelopes and I've been saving them and I thought this would be perfect the little envelope will double as a gift as well so then I have a new RSVP pen those are my favorite and I'll stick that in there. And then you guys saw my emoji 3D treats. If you haven't, I will stick that right here in a card. You can click on it. So I'm going to stick one of those in here for um, the person. And then we'll close this up. So they'll get a little notebook, a little pen, the emoji 3D candy bag. And then the envelope will also double as a little gift. They can put receipts in it or... Um, they can use it there for, um, while they're on the trip. So I have some of this retired ribbon. I will tie this around and put it in a bow. This is this was uh, we had this last year. Some of it's still on the clearance rack on the supply list in the description and on my website. I'll list whatever colors are still there. Unfortunately, I think I don't think watermelon wonder is one of the colors. That. So then let me show you the other thing I did. I wanted to have two little items. So I had gotten a cup like this at, I got this at Walmart. It is the Mossy Oak brand. This is a stainless steel cup and I am kind of a cup snob, you guys. I love my cups. Um, I love, I use stainless steel and I use glass a lot. The stainless steel is really amazing because it will keep your drink cold or hot. So when I'm on, when I'm at events like, 
on stage. Um, I like to take one of these so that I can put ice in my cup and then I can keep filling it up with water throughout the day and that ice will not melt. I literally put ice at an iced tea. I filled this up at around 4 p.m. one day and the next day at 11.30, it was still there was still ice in here. It was amazing. So I wanted to get everybody a cup like I had gotten. Mine's teal. So I went and I was going to pick up a different color for each person. Well, there was only three colors. There was the teal color I had, a rose gold color, and then a black. And so I was kind of bummed. The other thing that's nice about this cup is it twists so you can drink from it here, but it closes. Or if you flip it over, you can push this through and then you can have a straw. So that's the really nice part is that there's two different ways you can drink from it. So um, I went ahead and I picked up the black. Now inside, I just have a few things. I have a few candies at the bottom. I have a pack of gum. A set of uh, mementos. That's a little candy. I have a lemonade and a crystal light water to flavor your water. And I have a thing of Tic Tacs. And then I was going to get chocolate, but again, I'm afraid that if I get chocolate, it's going to melt uh, because of traveling and everything. So I'm not going to get chocolate. But really, if I was able to give this more quickly than what I'm going to be able to I would put chocolate on the top to top it off so then what I did is I wrote their name on it now this will come off it's just like a chalkboard type pen it's like a white pen this one says Carrie and then this one says Wendy I'm going to show you how to make this tag that one's Wendy's and then this one is Christie's so I just wrote their name on the cup, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this very quick tag. Some designer series paper. Let's zoom in, and then I'll zoom back out to show you the finished project again. Product again. So you just started out with some designer paper. I went ahead and cut it at three by four. That's a great standard size to go with. Then I have a piece of basic black. It's a one inch by three and a half inch. I'm gonna layer that on here. Then I have a scalloped square. I'm gonna take this stamp set right here, which is a super cute stamp set, watercolor, watercolor words. We're gonna use basic black, and we're gonna put you're the best. And then I'll include a card uh, to each of them with the other pillow gift um, that I did. I have to turn this a little bit to get it all to fit on the square. It's supposed to be a little bit faded. It's supposed to look like you watercolored it. And then we will take some foam tape and stick that on the back. And then I'm gonna show you a really easy way to put a hole in a piece of paper if you don't have a hole punch. Now, I have a hole punch, I just so here we go. So I need a little hole. So I'm going to take my scissors. This is an old pair of scissors. It has a pretty good tip. I'm going to stick that in the corner. Now I'm just holding it down. I got to hold it kind of straight up, but the tip of it is just in the paper. And then I'm just going to rotate this paper. Okay. That's going to start a little tiny hole. And then you can just take your scissors and make the rest of it. So, okay, so now let's add some ribbon to this. I'm gonna use this. I thought I would use Bermuda Bay since it is my favorite color and everybody knows that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with the cup laying down. So what I do is I just stick it up here and it's gonna go at an angle, which is what I want. I don't want it hanging straight down. I'm gonna come around the cup, see that? Don't worry if it like falls down there. It's going to fall. It's going to be fine. You're just going to bring it back up and then you're going to tighten it. So I'm pulling really tight. I'm going to lay that back down and then I'm going to come over here over the corner. We're going to pull it really tight, really snug. The thing by doing it this way is this tag is going to be able to be able to move around a little bit. So I don't want it to cover the name all the way. So I can just kind of adjust that and then we'll trim it. And then I'll show you how the cups turned out. 
So I'll probably give this Saturday morning and I'll give the other one on Friday night. So here's Carrie's, you're the best. Wendy's. And then here's Christie's. So this was a really fun and easy gift and it kind of is a little bit, um, it like reminds me of me since I'm such like a cup person. So I thought that would be a good uh, gift. So there are my pillow gifts for on stage. So I will be heading to on stage on Thursday. Wendy and I are driving down. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see some behind the scenes pictures and maybe even some stories with Wendy and I. And if you are going to on stage in San Diego, I would love to meet you and say hi and hang out. So make sure you say hi if you see me and I will be back next week with another project for you guys and a recap on um, all of the fun stuff that happened in San Diego. I hope you guys are having a great day and have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you guys later.